y'all doing today? I got my bucket over up under a shade tree today. Good old cold beer. I got me a little shot of liquor down there, but it's hot now. I'm telling you what, it's about 95 degrees here. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video the other day about how to start start your corn malt going on the soaking and the malt and barrel and stuff. Something I need to tell you about the malt and barrel didn't tell you the other day. Uh, you make sure you turn your malt and barrel all the way over once or twice a day. Keep that corn stirred up in there. And your, your corn and malt better and it won't sour. That's why you got to keep the airflow. It will sour and the bottom will sprout first and the, and the top won't be as sprouty. Well, today we're going to go over how to start your drying process. How I do mine. And I build a little old simple drying table. It's nothing fancy. It's not pretty, but it don't need to be. We're all about function and using what you got. I don't have a dime in this thing. Uh, the nails was even gift to me. And I just used old chainsaw and a hammer and just eyeballed everything. So y'all stick around with us, and we're going to show you a little bit about the drying process. And we'll see you. Hey, folks. Welcome back to the channel here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the first video on, on how to get your corn malt started and, and going and with the barrel. Uh, the thing about the mountain barrel is you need to turn it at least once, if not twice a day. Turn it all the way over and keep that air flowing through that corn because the corn on the bottom is going to sprout before the corn on the top. And you really need to make it even, you know, even it out. Uh, ours is done that we put in the barrel two days ago. It sprouted. It looks great. So we're going to make us a, a drying table here. I found some heavy gauge screen wool a long time ago. It's probably three by eight. And... Uh, I found it somewhere, I think it was gift to me, a bunch of it, like 30 or 40 pieces. I'm going to be using a piece of it, some rough sawn pine two by fours, it was seconds, it got gift to me from a, a saw mill, uh, my old trusty skill saw right here. Uh, we're going to get this drying table done, and I'll show you how, how I do mine. I like to sun dry my corn, and we'll, we'll get right into this, folks. Y'all stick around. Okay, folks, as you can see, I've got my corn all spread out out here on my drying table. Um, you need it pretty thin. Get as, get as much off the top of it as you can, because that'll help it dry. that will let a lot of the moisture leave. As you can tell, we're in full sunlight here. Uh, we got a little bit of a breeze blowing. It's like 93 degrees here today and burning up. But this, this is good for drying corn. Uh, now, on your sprouts... You really got to watch your sprouts because you don't want them to turn green. What, what that's doing, all them starches and sugar in there is for that sprout. That corn kernel starts feeding that sprout starches and sugar. As it turns green, it's a growing plant. That plant needs, needs nutrient. And that, that's corn, that corn kernel is going to give it all the nutrient it needs until it gets a good root established and pops up out of the ground. And uh, so you, you really don't want a whole lot of grain on your. You'll get you get one or two, but don't don't let it go too long. I've seen I've seen it turn green overnight and start growing good. Uh, but now on your sprouts, show you what you're looking for. Let me get you in the shade here. If you'll see those sprouts, are one and a half, two inches long. See right there, and they're white. And we done that in two days in that malting barrel. That thing works good. And uh, as you can see, the table, it's nothing fancy. I didn't use a tape measure. I just used old chainsaw, and I just eyeballed it in there. You don't have to have something fancy for this right here to function. This thing right here probably dry corn just as good as a real fancy table wheel. So y'all you, just stick with us here, and we'll get you some more videos out. We get this dried. I'm going to go over the grinding process, how fine I grind mine. And we may even make a, make a barrel of mash. With a little bit of this, I don't use all moldy corn, but I do use some. So y'all just stick with us, and we'll see you soon. We appreciate you tuning in and watching. Uh, we have a lot more videos are coming. Uh, we're going to be trying to make at least three, four a week, and trying to help y'all out a little bit. And we've been asked about mountain corn, so I'm doing my best to show y'all uh, how to do it and just uh, get you on the right track with it. You know, we all have secrets. There is some secrets to this that I probably never will tell you. And uh, But that's okay. You need to make your own secrets. You need to get on your own path. And I, I'm just trying to point you in the right direction. So we appreciate y'all. Uh, 
Uh, sorry for the video today. Uh, the camera girl, she's she stayed at home. She's not feeling real good today. And uh, I don't blame her. It's hot out here. So, y'all subscribe, share, and like. Let's get this stuff out there, people. Uh, if y'all have a question, if y'all want to say something, or if y'all just have a question about something, just, just ask me. Uh, we appreciate y'all. We appreciate all your support. As far as the show goes, I have editing still left to do, but something happened. Uh, for some reason, a four-legged furry animal called a dog knocked the laptop off of the table, and it broke. So now I'm in the process of getting a, another computer and getting all my editing software and everything on it. But we're getting it done, and I'm sorry for the delay. But y'all watch your top knot. We love you.